left on the shelf Full of dust, you'll know it's me and from nobody collectors uh it's been a minute yeah <laughs> it's uh been a week i guess since we've seen you last two, week, two weeks two weeks yeah two oh, weeks yeah because we did a live in michigan yeah the live in michigan was so much fun it was pretty fun yeah hopefully if you uh didn't get to watch that live stream in michigan you can go back on the channel here and you can watch all the live streams you know, after they're over, you don't have to watch them live, but we always enjoy it when you join us. So <laughs> that's half the fun of doing these lives. Otherwise, we could just make videos by ourselves and upload them. But uh, having some Pez friends on them with us makes it a lot more fun. <laughs> yeah, for sure. For sure. The uh, So let's go through here and see what everybody's up to. Hey, Paul. Hey, Paul. How's it going? <laughs> welcome, welcome. Peppermint Pat hey, is here. Pat. How's it going? How's it going? Hello, hello. Sea monkey dude. Sea monkey dude. What am I just chopped liver over here or what? Like. Hi, sea monkey dude. I'm not saying nothing. I'm not saying nothing. This is Greg. In case you're new here. <laughs> I'm already offended. It's one minute in. <laughs> just uh, kidding. Just kidding. We have so many boxes that are falling over. <laughs> the boxes just fell over. Did we go through and take off, like prepare the yeah. boxes? Okay, good. My sister came over last night. And oh, was that what you were doing? Me. Yeah. Yeah. It's always fun to get other people to take labels off the boxes. I've had my mom do it one time. Sister's done it. We and you have done yeah, it. Yeah, we almost times. always do it together. <laughs> like I like to put in an audio book and just be like, whistle while you work. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> It's not hard, it's just uh takes a few minutes and it's fun, kinda. <laughs> hey Zura, what's going on? Zura. Sienna. Hey, how's it going? Oh, Aw. Sienna. Thanks. <laughs> Missed you too. <laughs> and Magic by Larry Scott. Hey, Magic by Larry Scott. <laughs> how's it going? It's gonna be one of the best names on here. like Piz by Aaron <laughs> and Bob is here hey, Bob. welcome back Aaron and Greg hey hey I wish they would show the little icons oh you can see them over here yeah you can see them in the chat we just can't see them in the in the thing that puts it on the screen <laughs> Pez dude redeem or sea monkey dude redeems himself ah. <laughs> <laughs> hey how's it going that's very nice that's very nice now you feel uh, special. <laughs> That's right. Shannon's here. Hey, Shannon. Good morning. Glad to see you as well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, Anagrams. Oh. Anagrams is here. Hey, Anagrams. Howdy, Pez Heads. Let's see. Paul says, I got a Pez I've been hunting for years from your live stream. Oh, what? What? Tell, don't just leave us hanging. I know, like, <laughs> spill the tea, dude. Wow. I gotta know. Wait, pause the live stream. I gotta know. Yeah, we're just gonna wait. <laughs> we're just gonna we're just gonna sit here and just wait. Here we go. True how. I don't personally collect pets, but I do collect other things. You want on my inspirations as a collector? Oh. That's wow. That's fun. Wow. Hopefully, what what do you collect, True? And is your house covered in it, like this one? <laughs> no, it's up here. 
It is down with our big display. So it's on two thirds of the levels of yeah. the house. I have a little bit in my office, but very small. I like to keep my pens all in like one area or two if I can, because otherwise it just gets out of control. Like it's just, yeah, you can totally have your whole house just decorated in pens. Sea Monkey Dude says, I counted my pez on Thursday for the first time in several years. Yeah, I can't I even I imagine. Did you post that on Facebook? I think I read that. Yeah, I think thread. I saw that. How many? How many did you end up having? Fifty-two lot. quad a lot. quad billion. <laughs> million. <laughs> I need to go through and count mine, but it just seems really overwhelming. <laughs> Most of mine are in the database, but the last couple years I've slacked. Like I don't, I don't even want to. Uh, I don't even want to count the pez we get every week. Like that mm. seems too much work for me. All right, James says, "Good morning." A little more than a week, and it's Pezzamania. I hope to meet you both there. Yeah, we are going to be there. We're gonna get there Thursday morning, I think, and we'll be there until we're leaving Sunday. So um, we're gonna fly. Yeah, we're flying. No, no uh, getting motion sickness in the Jeep this time. <laughs> yeah, just motion sickness in the, <laughs> in the air. air. But it's shorter. It's only like a 45-minute flight. And uh, I'll be fine. It's, yeah. That's a lot easier than 10-hour drive in the Jeep. Yeah. Tom says, good morning, everyone. Oh, good morning, everyone. Missed you last week. Nice to have you back. Hi, Aaron and Greg. Yeah, thanks. Oh, thanks, Tom. <laughs> Good we're glad time. to be back honestly yeah. like uh last week i was feeling a little sad that uh we weren't on the live stream oh, so yeah it wasn't the same <laughs> you get you so used to like you know like get up on saturday come in here and hang out and open some pest packages and hang out with you guys and uh when you don't do it it's just like you're feeling like you're missing out on a little something <laughs> yeah True says, I collect little speakers called Bitty Boomers, oh. and I have a room full of them. Wow, I never heard anybody collect those, but those are super cute. Can you turn them on at the same time? I'm sure you've gotten asked that a million times. Uh, we better Google it before we ask any specific questions. I mean, <laughs> you just never know. Uh, I follow some other, like, collectors on Instagram or YouTube because, like, I appreciate the, like, collector like world of these other collections like Funko Pops or uh I'm trying to think what else I follow like some like some vintage uh you know like action figures or toys or Voltron stuff because Greg collects Voltron but I don't ever plan to buy Voltron <laughs> but like you know like it's a whole like if you're a collector you know it's it's fun to see what other collectors are up to even if you don't collect that kind of stuff so if you want to know what Paul bought this is what he bought what from the share? live stream. I don't know. I'm sharing it. Oh, yeah. Send it to me during the live, you know. That's what you get. <laughs> That's pretty cool. You know, I didn't even it's see a this. fantasy. Yeah. I, I didn't see this. I have seen it. Uh, let me see. But What's I'm, it say? It says I, he could not believe everybody walked past this. You know, it's just it, there's so many yeah. and people want so many different things. Yeah. I feel the same way when I buy buy things yeah you know i bought this casper from joe where is it and it's got a really strange light blue stem you know it's not the standard blue this is the standard blue you can see the difference and i don't know if it's faded do i put it on the spinner no mm -hmm. i don't know if it's just faded or or what but you know to me it's when do you ever see a, a weird Casper? Like, I think anybody should snatch that up. Like, there's one rule in Pez. If it looks weird, take a chance because, yeah. you know, it could be something made, but chances are it's something weird. <laughs> well, sometimes I think people don't realize, like, if you have different colored stems or uh, different, like, small variations that you might look for because you have, what, 10 or 12 Caspers sitting over there. But some people probably just look at that and go, oh, that's a light blue ca Casper. You know, that's cool. Yeah. But like yeah, stuff, little know. stuff like that you like pick at when you're like really into that Pez or you're looking for something super specific, like a stem color or, 
you know, a paint variation on something. Oh. Allison and Hamster the Gramster checking in. How's it going? Wait, 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 wait. What? Don't, don't go out. Don't click. Don't, don't click out. Don't click. Don't click. Don't, don't, don't. Today's a very special day. <laughs> it's uh, Gramster the Hamster's birthday. Happy That's birthday. True. Happy birthday. <laughs> I remembered. Ah. I was just pretending like I didn't. Ah. Hope you're having a special day. That's right. Hopefully it's action packed and this is just the beginning. Hopefully you're going to get some Pez presents and uh, you're going to do whatever you want to do today because that's the way I like to do my birthday. That's right. That's right. <laughs> you pick out what you want to eat, what you want to do. You know, picking out the food is really my favorite part. Like I, you know, like everybody is get just... get a birthday cake? Everybody's just stuck something? eating what I like and you know they're uh. miserable but I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, you wanted this for your birthday? Uh, <laughs> I'm like, yes. <laughs> so True says you can pair two bitty boomers together on one delivery, but you can get apps to connect more than two. Okay, well, I guess I'll be watching some YouTube videos on this later because yeah. now I'm interested. I always want the little Grogu one, but I just never buy it because I'm like, will I actually use it? Or was it, I'll just set it on my shelf and it'll be really cute. <laughs> oh, do you actually know what a Bitty Boomer is? Yeah. Oh. Greg, I know everything. <laughs> Thankfully, if that's there's not a, true. If there's a Star Wars Bitty Boomer, or if there's a Star Wars something, or... I probably know about it. Is the says I just watched the horrid Henry movie. Okay, I, don't I don't know. know what that I have no idea. <laughs> no idea. Is there a Pez reference in it? Sounds like an animated movie. Everybody's saying happy birthday to the Gramster in the chat. Like that's, that's so nice. You guys are all right. <laughs> <clears throat> all right. So. Oh look, Pat says. Pat says something there, right there. She's saying happy birthday. Click it. We already said happy birthday to the Gramster. It's too much. Just kidding. It says my birthday is Monday. Oh, that's Pat's. Hope I have is Pezzy. She's wishing herself a happy birthday. Oh, well, happy birthday to you, happy Pat, birthday, as well. Happy birthday, Pat, an early birthday. It's that, like a whole birthday That's two. That's two days away. That's... You know what? This qualifies. Well, the rule is, is do you want this weekend to be your birthday weekend mm. or do you want next weekend? I think technically this week is your, this weekend is your birthday weekend and next week is your birthday week. Is it? Yeah. Because it's the closest weekend. Yeah. But you can pick because it's your or birthday. Or you can just celebrate with both weekends. Two? Whole week. Two birthday weekends. <laughs> that's chaos. Not too much, Greg. It's fine. All right. What else we have going on? I don't know. <laughs> I well, can't see those. See what? All oh those no! I'll click. I'll click on anything that looks interesting. Ah, see, Peppermint Pat says she's choosing this weekend. This weekend. Well, I guess we better prepare for that. <laughs> Hopefully, do something fun. Yeah. So, uh, who got the new sour pineapple mascot Pez from Pez.com? Anybody? <laughs> I have one. It's in the box here. I need to unbox today. And it's already sold out on Pez.com. I looked it up a couple days ago and I noticed it was missing. So, it's pretty fun. That's cool. Is this shirt you're wearing rare? According to Paul, it is. Aaron is wearing the UK shirt. The Beef Eater was the first very rare. The Beef Eater? <laughs> the Beef Eater? I don't know. That's I got the third, this. That's the third this UK last, Pez gathering. This is from last year's 2022 on it. The year they had the Panda Pez. So I had to buy the Panda Pez gathering Pez. Which sits like right here. Wait. Oh, here it is. Last year, 
I had to buy this, the Panda Pez Gathering Pez, because I'm working on getting all of these. And uh, when you buy this and you buy stuff from overseas, UK, and she's like, well, I'm selling all this other stuff. So I got a t-shirt, I got a sticker, <laughs> got a lanyard, uh, and the graphics I think are pretty cool. So Sea Monkey and Bob got got that. Oh yeah. Does it look does it look nice in real life? I haven't opened it. I can't wait to open mine. Oh we're gonna open it. <laughs> Man, I got I, I don't know, there's gotta be a couple whistles in these boxes because I have a feeling that like I was trying to fill holes and I ended up filling them oh. in Michigan. Ah, oh no. <laughs> like you might it's yeah, fine. yeah, I don't know. I mean, these whistles are pretty cheap, but because we haven't opened stuff in like three weeks, because we didn't open stuff on the Michigan weekend yeah. either. So, well, no right? Pez on eBay is cheap. Uh, like even trying to buy a common yeah. is like three or five bucks or something. Uh, if you've never been to a Pez convention, uh, definitely go to one if you love to click Pez, because you find so many good deals. It's ridiculous. Like I found just room hopping in Michigan. Like, I bought so many things, and I was like, what? Like, a dollar for this? I'll, I even tell the people, like, you know, you could probably get more for this. <laughs> and then, like, uh, I don't know, just, like, some really good deals on stuff. People are just selling just because they want to get rid of stuff. Especially, like, well, like, uh, some, like, carded Pez, which people might, not everybody might not want those. But, like, I don't know, just, like, you get good deals. And, like, eBay, it seems like. Stuff that's on there sometimes, not always, there's good deals on eBay to be had, but like the stuff that's still there is the stuff that's marked up a little higher. Or or then you have to pay the five dollars or whatever shipping, so it adds up. If it's like a, it depends because like if you're buying a vintage Pez, it's totally worth spending like five dollars for shipping, but if you're buying like one whistle for a dollar or two, is it worth paying the five dollars for shipping on it? So when you go to conventions, you can just buy stuff, you know. Yeah, you don't I, know what you're gonna get, but you probably will find something. What I found interesting at Michigan is, it's a lot of more common stuff. Oh, it was it was way less vintage than I expected. Not that I was, you know, I just kind of expected more dealers to have more vintage, but I think they go to Cleveland. Yeah, I remember. Well, at Michigan last year, I they, I mean, there's only a couple dealers i think that go that have like a lot of vintage so you know like most of the stuff at michigan is newer stuff which is i have five well yeah that's, I, that's I what buy, i was saying i, I could buy it what i need what i needed to do but it's was not the same, yeah. i needed to prepare differently for michigan because uh, i was all prepared with all the vintage that i was missing and needed uh, but i didn't really have a good handle on the common stuff uh, i was trying to fill so. And I and I always know common stuff I need because making these videos I'm doing research on these pets like all the time. So it's like a lot of times I know that I'm missing like one variation of something. So I did pick up a few of those. I was pretty excited to get because it makes it easy to find stuff if you know like if you know what you're looking for. Like if you go to a convention, make sure you have a wish list or for sure uh, <laughs> organize your collection before you go so you know what to look for. Otherwise, it could be just like crazy overwhelming you don't know what to buy you don't know what to look for it's more fun you have something to look for i think so is the wants to know if you get your pez in bag or cardboard so if it's from pez.com or well from... just in general so in the bag uh those they're in poly bags mm -hmm. so it's considered in in poly bag i think it's just wherever if we're, if we're buying at retail it's whatever they have if you buy from pez.com most of them come in the bags and I wish they would give us a carded version to pick from because I would rather buy the carded Pez and keep it on card than buy the Pez in the bag and keep it in the bag. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, like if I'm at a store and you just see like a display box, oh, the light just went out. Like what's behind Greg, I can't see it. There's like a j display box back here. I zigged when I should zag. <laughs> it's just, <sorry. laughs> so like those will have the poly bags in it. Yeah. Uh. But if you go to like World Market or Five Below or something like that, then you can find the Pez on cards and just, I don't, I try to buy stuff on cards if I'm going to keep it 
and not open it. But if it's in bag, I'm going to open it, then that's fine. I don't know. Kind of just get what you can get. Sometimes I end up buying a bag and a card and a loose one. <laughs> Depends what it is. Like if it's something I really want and really like, I'll buy yeah. know, as many variations as I can find. Thanks, True. We appreciate it. Aaron, Aaron's video has good vibes. You know, it's hard. It's hard for for her to make a vi uh, uh, a salty video. Ah. Is re is really challenging. I'm not a salty person. We really. uh, <laughs> we used to have a a podcast years ago mm. where we talked about uh, like superheroes and science fiction and fantasy and stuff, and we would watch things that she clearly did not like. Okay, <laughs> clearly did not like, and she would not talk bad about it. Like I'm like Aaron, like. You, you, but you didn't like it. And she's like, well, you know, it, I liked this part or I like this. I'm like, come on. <laughs> like, give it a one star. She would never do it. Like, she is no, so I uncomfortable. I would rate it lower. But, like, uh, like I a just, four and a half star. I don't like watching YouTube videos where the people, it's just negative clickbait and negative vibes. Negative. Like, like there's so many people who make YouTube videos just to get that, you know, yeah. click. And so they'll put negative titles negative thumbnails negative content in the video just like you know, like top 10 things we hate about pez and people will click on it because it's like top, what they don't like pez and then you'll click on it and then it's just like you watch it and you're like oh, why do i even like pez like it just turns you off it's like if you love a tv show or a movie like yeah. why do you want to watch something negative about it I yeah mean, why I does like, someone else's opinion on that thing change your opinion like yeah and when you watch you know five or ten of those videos you start thinking like do i actually like star wars like <laughs> oh star wars is the worst for that. you know like it's horrible like i like to keep everything positive i've been collecting pez for a long time and you know something i really love and uh you know i wanted to stay positive i want to you know keep the community positive if we have negative you know thoughts and ideas about collecting pets i mean what's the fun of it i mean it's not fun <laughs> yeah the most negative video you've ever made is that bitcoin oh pez. still stop it and even then oh. and even then it was oh like gosh. it was like people could might want it but i'm not buying it and then uh tim sent me yeah you know, tim's here today he, he sent me one yeah it's funny um uh, i still haven't bought one myself <laughs> It still sits behind. It. Wait, it still sits up. There. Yeah, no, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. It's just the fact that it was it's supposed to be bucks. limited edition. It's not really limited edition, and it's thirty dollars. Yeah. So Shannon's asking the real questions here. Ooh, oh, yeah. Okay, I shot a video and edited it. Yeah. Edited it, 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 it like ninety-five percent yesterday. Somebody must might have came over yesterday and distracted us. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. It was an impromptu South Park marathon, which I really had a lot I of fun. I didn't watch it. I really enjoyed it. So I had to get it ready for the live stream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but yeah, Michigan. So I, I have a Michigan Pez haul video. I don't know when I'll put it out. I don't think I'll wait till Thursday, Tuesday. I don't know, Tuesday. I might put it out tomorrow this afternoon no it's got to upload it takes a while so like i'll edit the video and then you got to export it which takes a little bit but not too long and then the uploading to youtube and then for youtube to like process it to go to 4k it takes like it can take like hours sometimes i don't know it depends on youtube yeah so look forward to my first michigan uh pez haul video maybe tomorrow if i i don't know it depends if i want to work later <laughs> Yeah. It's not done. We have some. We have a few things we need to do. Yeah, we got to do a couple things. Too. So if I have time. I'll work on it. If not, I'll get it out probably Monday. Or, I mean, I don't think I'll wait till Tuesday. It's a good one. It might be bear related. Just saying that. I got a lot of. When I'm I, sure they're shocked. Everyone's shocked. <laughs> when I got all my stuff out, I have most of it. I have it all sitting up here because I want to make the videos on it. So I can't just put it like in the collection, mingling in. And uh, I start looking through it. I'm like, man, I have, I, like, I bought a lot of bear pez. And like, you would think I have a lot of bear pez, but I was missing stuff. And I found some really cool stuff that I was like wanting. And I couldn't believe I found it. Like, 
I'm not going to spoil anything. Yeah, don't so spoil it. I have a, I have a few Pez haul videos planned and, uh, well, I'll make some like shopping videos so you can see like what room hopping is like because I took a lot of videos while, we're, while we were room hopping and it's super fun and you see so much stuff that I didn't buy. Like, it's just like massive amounts of Pez. Like, I can't even imagine like people bring all these Pez to sell, but how much do they actually sell? Because there's just like so much Pez and there's only so many people. I know. There's more Pez than people. Well, you can see it in the live stream. Like, it's just absolutely crazy. Yeah. The uh, oh. so Sienna says she wants to go to a pest convention too, but just there's not that many in the UK. Oh, you gotta go to the UK pest gathering. I don't know if you're close to this. This is in like Green Green Greenwich. Is that how you say? No Greenwich. Idea. Greenwich, maybe. Maybe I have no Greenwich. Idea. Shh. Paul will correct us. I know us. these things. <laughs> um, I think it's close to. It must be close to. It must not be too far from London. Because I think I looked it up when she was having this one. And I was like, great, we should go to some of these overseas and maybe someday we'll go, but I don't know. I'm ready. <laughs> Whenever you're ready, I'm ready. I'll go any anytime. Greg's a world traveler. It's nothing to me to go to England. <laughs> I mean, that's like practically going to another state in the United States. <laughs> and hers is like, like you can look up, like if you ever want to go to any of these gatherings or conventions, look up their Facebook page and they'll post pictures from the previous years and the UK one actually, she does a lot of stuff. Like it's pretty, it looks pretty fun for like a gathering outside the United States because they're a little bit smaller usually. That's why I say like the, the ones here in the United States are usually pretty large. <laughs> do they do it every year in the UK? I think so. Yeah. This, wait, does it have a this year This is 2022. Date? No, does it have a third? A third. So this is her third. So next year, um, oh, I guess it'll be this this year in October, probably. What's the one they do every few years? Is that the one in Austria? I think every couple, is it two or five? It's, yeah. yeah, Austria. Their that one's coming up, so if you're by Austria, you could go to that one. I don't know much about that one, but that's, where the, Pez, that's where the other Pez company is at, so mm. it's got to be some collectors over there i don't know when is it i don't know i feel like it's coming up so gramster says his daughter in pittsburgh pa my two grandsons are now watching your channel ah. that's right spread the word <laughs> spread the word well hello if you're watching <laughs> hello hello all right we better make a dent in these boxes because if not we're going to be here all day and uh <laughs> nobody wants that I, I honestly i have no idea what's in here i have no idea the funny part is that we took off all the labels, <laughs> so it's going to be like, surprise, whatever's in these. There, you can open that broken one first. Yeah, that's what I thought, Paul. Well, this one it's, I kept John's name It's on. every other year you for just, UK. Oh, it is every other year? That's what I thought. I didn't think it was every year. Huh. But I wasn't sure. I didn't know that. This is from, this is from Laspina. Yeah. Oh, okay. I know it's what not this every is. other year because of the pandemic, is it? Like, or is it actually every other year? A lot of, because all the gatherings and uh, conventions, they didn't have one in 2021 because of the pandemic, and that's why all the panda pets are from 2021. I guess I'll open the little. Yeah, open it up. I totally thing. forgot. Like I, I bought some other stuff from Laspina that I didn't. I didn't want to open on the live stream just uh, just for me so i forget what this is i feel like i think i know what's in there but it's been down there i think that one's been down there for a while i think this is carded i think this I is something carded oh you probably should open this one it's all right look i like he puts on this <laughs> i'm not trash he wants us to reuse these boxes uh, which is, that's nice oh yeah I do keep them all. I've been uh, I've been using them, so I keep most of the boxes if they're like in good shape. Not like stuff like this that comes and it's all broken. Oh yeah, here. Careful. Is that all that's in there? Yeah. Oh yeah. Wait, I forgot you bought this. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. That's gonna happen a lot today. There was a table from the USA. Oh, okay, Paul. 
at the convention in the UK. All right, we haven't got a table, but you know. <laughs> there was a. What do you mean that there was a table from the USA? I guess at the UK. Oh, people come from the UK. Oh, people come from the US to go there. Okay, there's no way I bought this. Like this must have been a, a copy. Like someone copied the listing of someone else. Because this is a, this is a standard four nine China whistle. I mean, this is like a fifty cent whistle. There is no possible way that I bought this. <laughs> what? Oh. Why would I buy that? I literally have a bag of them. Okay, so let's put this aside because. We have something else here. Oh, okay. There's something else in there. Yeah. Well, maybe you see who it's from. It's, you can send them a message. I mean, maybe it's not worth it. <laughs> I mean, they're nice, but like... It's a sour's puzz. We have these by the bucket load. Oh, there's no paper? No. Oh, I thought I saw something. I think I saw that. Okay, put this back, because if I paid more than like 50 cents for this, it's going back. By you, so we don't actually throw away. Well, that's uh, not a good start. <laughs> okay, this this is a good start. Whoa, that's a good start. This is okay. This is look at, you want to look at it first before I show anybody. Yeah. So, what's it say? Uh. So this is from Marianne Kennedy's collections that Laspina is selling. And, um, you know, what makes this one interesting is that the three candies are underneath, Ooh. underneath the panda. Hold. There's, there's one back here. Oh. So it, they come in a bunch of configurations, but the three candies there. is, is more rare than this, this configuration right here, where it's the candies on the left, right and the side. So, see that? You can see the difference. That's why I bought it, because it had three candies on the bottom. Now, some people might not care about that, but I think it's a cool panda variation. Let me go ahead and put that back. Now, you also can find them with a single candy and two candies in various configurations, but I think it's whatever the packaging person at the Pez factory felt like that day when they sealed it in. It's just how you got it. Maybe they did them like this for a while. I have no idea. You sh yeah, this is like super, this is what you see all the time. Yeah. I was going to say maybe these went to a different country, but I, th I think those are the same backs. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I mean, they're different backs, this but. This one has 1990 on it. Yeah, September 1990s printed. Prints it on the back. the best before the expiration date for the candy, I guess. Yeah. Uh, but this is super cool. And I don't know if I have... I don't think I have any of these striped carded Pez with the candy stack like that. No, they're they're hard to find. They're definitely hard to find. But you, but, you know, I don't know. Like, back then, the rules were loose. So who knows if <laughs> it was just an accident or... or but I've seen it multiple times. Okay, I hung it on my rack. All right, well, it's now mingled in. It's in the collection. All right, let's keep it going. <laughs> I would bet someday, so Isda says it would be cool if, if you and Pez did a collab. I, I would bet someday that would happen once the channel gets a little bigger and... and uh, you know, probably probably a couple years from now, but I would I would I would bet that something like that's gonna happen. That would be cool, but who knows? <laughs> I don't talk. Pez never talks to me. Or I don't talk to Pez, so. Sad day. Sad day. This one's got peanuts. Oh, you got peanuts? I got pe <laughs> you know, I'm digging in to try to get to it. Like, I don't need additional peanuts. Uh, 
I mean, whoever packed this really wanted it to arrive here safely. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is for you. I mean, oh, there's a shoe. You could put some of those nuts back in here. Here, take this whole box. Is it, is it get, get it off? That's all it. That one little thing is in here? Yeah. Someone's mowing the grass. Always. So that's a leaf blower. Holy smokes, there's like a big giant thing of foam in here. I know, like whoever sent that here really wanted it to be safe, and I, I don't. I really well, appreciate that. I really use that stuff. But I don't think the, uh, I don't <laughs> think the Pez warranted that. Uh. There you go. No foot. What? Wait. Barney. Hey. <coughs> this is the first no foot in the collection. The first no foot Barney? Yeah. One time the first real no foot. One time. <laughs> it saw, the feet were sawed off. Wait, here. It came with these little shoes. Here, put it on that one. Let's do a spin. First spin of the day. Hey, Sid. How's it going, man? What are goals? What 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 are goals? This Barney bear? <laughs> hey, Sid. Is it in the middle? Yeah. Are you gonna spin spin it manually? Because you can't get your app to work. <laughs> I'll just make the noise like. That's a good looking Barney. It doesn't look so uh, creepy, shifty eyed. No. Wait, so here's the fake part. <laughs> this is the fake one. Wait, we need to compare these. Yeah, yeah the one. The the heads look about the same. I mean, it's missing the black on the nose. Yeah. Well, it's the stem that got sawed off on the on the what one on the left. Well, for sure, it's because it has a spine. Oh, I forgot to get my magnifying glass. <laughs> that one says, the new one says made in Hong Kong. Yeah, that seems more. This one. Oh, yeah. The I other agree. one says so, made in Yugoslavia. Yeah, well, that thing's got this. That thing's for sure got the feet sawed off. <laughs> oh, I still put it in the collection. It looks nice. This one's super cool. I guess we'll put the shoes here and we'll put this one on my side. Sunshine Tuna. Oh, wait, no, that's Sid. Partnering with Pez. Yeah, I agree. That's goals. The Sunshine Tuna just arrived. S Sunshine Tuna. Better late than never. Ah. You didn't miss much. It's fine. <laughs> I mean, who really comes to the first half hour of anything? <laughs> That's what I want to say, Sid. Like, why would someone fake a Barney? Of all things. I don't know. Because Unless, it's worth pretty much the same, with feet or no feet. The only thing I could think of is, like, the feet broken, so someone just broke it off. Yeah, that could be true. And then it just got mingled in somewhere, and then they forgot, and... I don't know. Yeah. I don't know where it came from. <laughs> That's what happens when you buy just random stuff on. So speaking of mind. of suspect Pez. This Barney Bear looks really nice though. Yeah. So I got these two. Oh. Just because I wanted to add them to my collection. Are you going to take them out of the bags? I don't know. It doesn't matter. <laughs> These aren't even worth showing. Somebody might like looking at them. I might like looking at them. Let's put them on the spinner. I will. Hang on. So... I'm 99% sure that these are not legit, but I have seen the other p 
people have them and I've seen them before in these colors. And I just wonder if it's just the weird, like a weird uh, Canada thing, like uh, some other stuff that, that comes on weird stems and maybe there's a few of them floating around, but I highly doubt it, but I, I don't know for sure. So I don't have them. Other people have them in their collection and I was jelly toast, so I got them. <laughs> They look good on those stems, though, don't they? Yeah. Even if they're not supposed to be on there, I like them. Very nice. Very nice. My skull collection is really stacking up. Yeah. Yeah, I would say yes. I'm not blaming Canada, Sunshine. I'm saying, like, we got some really fun stems during that era. Oh, yeah. Where it wasn't... Uh, like the icy bears and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, like, you know, we got funny All Scrooges the, like, and, like, yeah, uh, Scrooge, Kermit. And, Disney ones. Like, we got some really fun ones. So I'm hoping that these are them. And they don't smell like maple syrup, but it could be worn off. So It would be better if it smelled like maple syrup. <laughs> for sure. For sure. <laughs> Do other live streamers just laugh at their own jokes? <laughs> yes. That's why you're here with me. Otherwise, I'd be laughing at myself and be like, this is weird. <laughs> this is a weird. Hello, hello. Hello. <laughs> All right, let's get chopping. Keep the party rolling. Some, uh... Let's get it. Oh, we, that one's already started, so. What is it? You're going to have to cut the tape on that. <sighs> I saw that fist flying right at my face. Okay, come on. <laughs> I don't... Gonna... It's, it, by the way, it's unnecessary to tape a priority box unless it's been <laughs> reused, but I don't think this one has been. Okay, open up. Keep open. Most of this stuff is going to be mine. So, it's been a while on the live stream. And I just like to bring it back to its roots here. And open up something that we haven't seen in a while. A Casper. <laughs> how many Caspers do you have now? Well, we don't have this one. Look. I know, but how many do we have now? I don't know. We'd have to count them. He's a little dirty. He's been uh, playing in the attic. Got a little, got a little filthy. Well, get a little bath. And then again to go. But uh, it's the red stemmed die cut. One of the only. One of the only major ones that I was missing. So, I so as you can see here, I have the black, I have the black die cut, which I think we talked about. This is the one of the first Pez I ever bought for Aaron. This one kind of smells like wait, this one kind of smells like smoke a little bit. So somebody's using somebody's like art to package the. Man, that poor kid. <laughs> That's kind of fun, right? Yeah, let's put it on the spinner. Okay, you gonna use these? Oh, those are way too big. Yeah, looks fine. It'll probably be fine for a minute. I don't know. I don't want this to fall over because it's die cut. I know. Well, the head is really the most fragile part of those. Oh, that looks good. Did you He's a little dirty, not quite super white, but I'll take him. Oh, it looks pretty white to me. Is it not white? Well, when you put the other one next to it, it uh, doesn't look as white. It's pretty good, though. Stop at the die cut. So That's you can right. appreciate it. You got a cool Casper art in Michigan that has the die cut. Oh, yeah, we could show that. On it. 
We could show that. I thought that was super cool. So what color eyes does it have? It's the it's the green. <laughs> Is it the I don't know, I can't. It's hard, it's hard to, to see. I think it's the green. I can look at it here. It's Is it the same as this one or different? The same, I think. Yeah. So it's it like the teal. A little bath. It's like the dark teal. Ugh, okay, I'm not, I'm not touching it. I told you. Okay, put it in the put it over here. We'll uh We'll wash the sheets and put them with the others later. They'll look good once you clean it up. Tuna was like, I knew it would be a Casper. <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a while. I this made, this I made, little... I made you some art gray. This little red one is hard to find. I'm going to find like the person's... Like a credit card bill in here. I feel like this kid tried to draw me, and I'm slightly offended. Here's another one. <laughs> then they try to draw Casper. <gasps> That's a skull. <laughs> some kid, uh, <laughs> some kid drawing skulls. Then they drew a skull. Maybe this is not a kid. Oh, that's like a face. Oh, this is that one you bought. Uh, remember? Oh, yeah. The one you told me you were missing. <laughs> and it turns out she wasn't. <laughs> I agree, Shannon. Pez should make a new die cut Pez. That would be awesome. Yes. This is a, is this Junior City? Yeah, it's Junior one City. One or two? Uh, I think it's one. And, uh, yeah, we got one now. <laughs> it's in the, was your, is your other ones loose though, aren't they? I have a set loose and a set in bag. Mm. Okay, so Greg saw this and he's like, you don't have that, do you? And I was like, I don't know, I don't think so. And he bought it. And I'm missing the one with like the little girl. This is cool. It, Oh, it has some little pez. I'm missing here. Look, I'm missing this one. It's almost identical. Oh yeah. How about now? I miss. I'm missing this one with the pink stem. If anybody wants to trade this one for that one, <laughs> let have, us know. This is the one. Wait, this is the one we just got. Yeah. <laughs> I need this one. Uh, but uh. I'm sure someone, we could probably trade this with somebody that probably needs it. Yeah. I like how it came in the little egg. Yeah, I know. That's cool. What was that? Oh, <laughs> the boxes are making weird noises over there. Uh, you bought this from someone on eBay, didn't you? Yeah. <clears throat> Don't smash it in I'm there. I'm trying not to. I just... Yeah, let's trade this one. <laughs> Quick. It's fine, Greg. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not smishing. It's just the fact that the egg won't. I don't know how to use eggs. Do I look like an egg? Official egg user? Look at that. All right. Kate, Kate, come on. Keep the boxes going. <laughs> Here, give me one. Long one. That one says second six ZZ. Oh, that's pet. Probably this is meant from pet. Sue. Oh, that's from Sue? Okay. She used the little remember a month ago or so she sent me some tape. Oh, this one might box. this might be from Jeff. Is this from Jeff? I don't know. We took all the names off and I laughed about it. It's gonna be it's gonna be a surprise every time we open a box. If you guys sent us something and and we don't credit you, just say out in the chat, like, I sent that to you. Because <laughs> apparently we're not good with the names. <laughs> the, mark, the Sharpie was in the other room. I didn't feel like going to get it. <laughs> oh, okay. Sue sent me a bunch of these. Oh, 
and there's inserts. She had a bunch of the Japanese mini egg, eggs sitting around in her closet that she didn't want. So she sent them to me. Oh, that's nice. Thanks, Sue. Appreciate it. I might have something to put these in. We haven't shown it yet. No. I don't know if we will show it. But uh, she sent me a whole box of eggs. I really appreciate this. Because I have a bunch of the pets, but I don't have... Like, a lot of times you buy the minis and they don't come with the eggs. And uh, this is really nice. Someone sent me blue slime. Blue slime! I like this box for selling carded Pez, though. This is a good box to yeah. wear. Thanks, Sue. I really appreciate it. If anybody has any empty Japanese mini eggs that they don't want, let me know. Man, that was a lot of work for this. That all that in that? Oh, I know why. Why did you buy that? I know why. Is that the Colgate one? This is the co this is a Colgate Wait. skull in in Polly. Here you go. Look, he's got all his teeth. Yes. Okay, it, it was worth the box. <laughs> Wait, you have one on card and in the bag now. Yes. So I have one card and in bag. I still need one loose. I guess I could just open this one. No, do not open it. <laughs> do not open it. How cool is that? Cool. Do you want to look at it? No. <laughs> what is this? It's just a tube to keep it safe. Oh. I forgot that I bought that. Of course I want to look at it, Greg. Nice. I had a feeling you probably were going to buy this. Oh, did you see it listed? I think so. Like, it's been a while. Looks good. You gotta put it in one of those little... Uh, boxes? Clear boxes. Yeah. I can't know if you can see it back there, but it's there. What, what is, does anybody know the story with these Colgate skulls? Were they like an error? Or, I mean, did they just go, you know what would be... Well, we put this skull over the edge if we knocked out a tooth. Yeah, I just don't understand like where it came out, like how it came into be. Uh, someone's gotta know. Or was it just wait, the one you have, it's on a European card, isn't it? Yeah. Hmm. That's the other reason I like this because it's the American poly. American. Depends USA poly bag. Oh, okay. Well, you know. <laughs> that's what the A stands for. Did I buy this? I didn't buy it. I don't buy pop pills. I need this. I bought this a long time ago. Like, it's been, like, weeks. It's the snaggle tooth. I like his little tooth. That's cute. <laughs> so this is the pop pills, the Funko pop pills. Snaggle tooth. And there's another one that goes with this one. And I Maybe it's in the pile here. I don't know. I can't remember what I bought three weeks ago. <laughs> it's been a while. Okay, keep them coming. You can open them. What did anybody else get this week or the last few weeks since we haven't had a live stream? Tell us, tell us your haul. Ooh. I think this says... Yappy dog. I know has. I saw that, but I don't know. You never know because people reuse stuff. You can tell when collectors send you something because they put it in a giant box with lots of wrap and like a one tiny little fez. to the people who don't call it. This has a bunch of stuff in it. Go, oh, she look at this. It's falling out. I'm going to move that box. Don't worry. Oh. Let's 
Yeah, we got to do it here. Let me give you this. Huh. Couldn't take it, could you? I'm just helping. I see ya, yep. Yibbity yaps. You know, you know what's funny? I was down looking at my post last night, and I was like, when did we get all these yappy dogs? <laughs> Five or six yappy dogs. I don't even know when we got them. <laughs> I think you're, you're the yappy dog uh, collector. I like them, but so this is the this is really the last one that we need. Then we'll have what we have. Them. I have a. I I'll tell you one that we don't have. Which one? I'll tell you about it later because it might be for sale. I don't know. Oh okay. <laughs> oh, I know one we don't you have. I saw it. And the one your dad just got, mm. I know we don't have to. Oh, you can put it on the turnstile if you want. Heck yeah. This is a beauty. I love orange and black. Yeah, so we didn't have one, any on black stem. I'm not trying to get all the different variations of the yappies. I'm just trying to get the main ones. And I think that this... It's got little soft ears. I don't... I don't th is this supposed to be soft? I think they're, I think they're just the standard plastic. Oh, they seem soft. You can tell because... The plastic ones have this little edge oh. around them, but they are—they did seem a little softer than normal. <laughs> They're just a little warm. <laughs> Look at that yappy dog, little oh, beauty. Yeah. It looks nice. So I—I I, I think. Why does it look so clean? Like it I, looks I don't so know. shiny. I think there's only three stems of yappies. That are legit and two heads, but they have different kind of shades. Mm -hmm. This one has two IMCs on it. Yeah, I don't want to go that crazy. I'll put this one over here by me. Not even 100% certain the black is legit, but. It looks cool. The, uh, but I think it's accepted as legit. To compare it to the other ones we have for like the orange we yeah have, do we have any orange heads Sid, you said that's far from the last one what's that read yeah maybe we'll see just a far from the last yappy dog <laughs> i only i only buy yappies of opportunity it's not really something that i hunt for it seems like they just pop up we always ask my dad like do you need this yappy? Because he's yeah. got a lot of yaps. Do what? What the? Are these from Joe? <laughs> that might oh, this might from. This might be from Kyle. Oh, Kyle. Yeah, is Kyle in today? Like he's usually on the live stream. I haven't seen him. Sometimes he works. I think on Saturday. Mm -hmm. He'll probably watch it later if you tell him you opened your box. Oh, yeah, these. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Wait. Do you have that? Huh? You don't have that? Is that one up there have feet? No, it's, a, it's got a black hat. No, right there. Oh, no. These, it's. So, I. Some of these I took a little bit of flyer on because uh, you go, I'm going for the different shades of the head. Oh. Uh. Wait, does that one have a darker or red head? I think so. It kind of does look different. Yeah, I think so. But we'll see. Then I got this cockatoo, the red head with feet. What is this? Oh, yeah. Is this a real legit combo? Supposedly. That's cool. I think it's blue. I have no idea. Wait, let's put some of these on here. Show them off. Cause... Okay. Why don't you start with the cockatoos? Oh. I think there's probably only these two. Okay, put it on there. So Sienna says she got the Gabby dollhouse. Oh, oh, nice. That's the the little uh, cats. Those are so cute. Remember the panty paws and mm -hmm. the kiki cat <laughs> and the mer cat. And they're finally, did you, Sienna, did you see that Pez is going to release an actual Gabby Pez? Because I don't know why they didn't to start with. I mean, it's called Gabby's Dollhouse. 
house or playhouse or whatever, dollhouse. These look cool. Yeah, I like the red one. The red one is the one one I was going for. Uh, do they both look nice? But we have a bunch of the the cockatoo. We need, I need to make a, I need to make a cock. Wait, this is a redheaded cockatoo. Yeah. So supposedly the redheaded ones only had feet. So they didn't come no feet. Yeah, I need to make a video with the cockatoos because we have a lot. Yeah, I think I think we're finished or cl close enough. Craig's obsessed with the cockatoos. I was like, oh, the cockatoos are fun. That's like ten cockatoos show up. <laughs> it's just that they're inexpensive vintage. Yeah. And we can we can kind of finish it. They're not too hard to find. Mm -hmm. Do you want to give me a couple yeah. of those to open? Here, that one might be a whistle. I feel like it's little. No, most of oh, these are mimics. Mimic. Ooh, look at that blue. Hey, wait. Turn around. Yeah, there's no yellow stems up there. Oh. Yeah, that's nice. We do, do have wanna, a mimic for sale. Do you want to start stacking them up there? <laughs> yeah. Here, open that. Let's see what stack. Ooh. I like this yellow one. It's pretty. This is this has got to be one of my favorites right here. Oh, what happened to the hat? <gasps> is the hat in there? What the heck? What the heck? Oh, wait. Might be in the box. I don't know. Okay, wait. Where'd it go? Shoot, it's my. Wait, the shirt didn't like pop out. I know it had a hat when it is went it in the box. Is it stuck in the on the tape? Yeah, this is one of my favorite ones, too. Wait, we'll find it. It's got to be in here. Okay, wait. Look, yeah, make double check it's not, like, stuck to the tape. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're not small. Ah! <gasps> Whistle. Oh, yeah, what is this? Oh, yeah, I'm missing this one. Here. I can't believe the, hat, the hat's missing. Kyle's gonna be watching this cringing. <laughs> well, oh, here we go. Finally. It? It's a no, it's a blue, blue tinted skull. Oh, yeah. you want that. So you can kind of see, like it's very subtle, but you can kind of see that it's that it's blue tinted. I don't see anything in these down here. Where's the what box did it come in? You still have the box or have the box? No, you have the box. It was a big box. Is it this one? Wait. Where is it? Should be a light blue hat. Okay, well we can look for it later, I guess, but wait. I'm sure it's in the box. Yeah, but I don't know what box it was in. Play back the live stream. Here, get out of the way so I can see and I'll tell, tell you. Tell me what box it was in. It, it, was in that, it was that one right there. This one? No, the one below it. With the, but that had bubble wrap in it. Oh, did it? Then it's that top one. It has to be this one, right? Yeah, let me see that. Mm -hmm. Oh, unless it's down in the cracks, there's nothing in there. Maybe it popped out at Kyle's house. I'll have to message him. It seemed like the way he wrapped these, it would be hard for the hat to pop out. Did it have a hat to start with? Yeah, for sure. I wouldn't buy a Mimic without a hat. I like this one too. Yellow stem, yellow hat. Right 
red head yellow. Hmm. I don't know. There you go. We'll have to go through this stuff like. Yeah. And um, or maybe Put these we can up there. Ask them, and we won't throw anything away until we know. Yeah. But if you found it at home, you would think you would have said something by now. We'll have to look at my messages. Who knows? <laughs> hey, John. Welcome. Hey, John. There you go. We were missing the hat for some reason, John. We don't know where it's at. I don't think I should spin these. Probably not, because they're a little... Uh... What's that blue thing? Oh, that thing was sitting over there, I think, before. That was sitting over there the other day. Or when I was getting ready for the last year, but I didn't know what it was. Hmm. Didn't fall out, did it? I don't think so. Well, or one hat down. The hat got blown off in the windstorm. <laughs> what one's the redhead? The... one here on the end you know what's weird is oh wait no <laughs> this is sorry that's what he has left huh. had a yellow hat what well you would think we would be able to see that really easy yeah like it's not a black hat <laughs> so this is how it was that's supposed not to... on that oh. one so this is this is how it's supposed to, was supposed to come you can see what i paid for it 150 We'll look again. Yeah, we'll find it. I'm uh I'm very tempted to put a blue hat on it. <laughs> I know. Actually be really cool. Yeah. The light blue hat? Yeah. These look pretty neat. Yes, yeah, and I got these from Kyle. He's definitely not liquidating his mimics. I think he's just uh Selling some of them. Like, I couldn't get him to part with the USA ones that I really wanted. He only parted with a, with this one USA. What one's USA? The white stem. Oh. Who knew they made so many mimics? That's another video what do you make. Yeah. Because there's a lot. Yeah, there's some controversy over the dark heads, that's mm. for sure. Like if they're... If they're faded or UV damaged or if they really came that way. So I'm happy to add to the Mimic collection. I might sell some of those that I have up there that are duplicates or... We put one out. You have one for sale. Yeah, I have one for sale right now. I think it's for 110 or something, 120, something like that. Mm. All right. Well, that's, the, that's one of the most excited ones I... Most ones I was most excited about. Ugh, if I could talk. Here, hand me one open. Gotta get this party moving fast. Where? This is heavy. Did you buy a brick? <laughs> Handle with care. I don't even know how to open it. Oh goodness. Give me five minutes to open this box. I'm just happy Sunshine Tuna is not asking me to read these newspapers. <gasps> okay, what is this? Whistles. Whistles. So it's on this card, which always makes me nervous. I still, we still have to open Sid's box. It's in the pile. Oh, it's, it? in the, it's at the end because it's the biggest. Sid, you sent us the biggest box. So this, oh my gosh, whoever sent me this box has got lots of dust. <clears throat> so one thing I like about Pez is you learn, you learn stuff all the time. And Sid was going through his stuff and found some whistle things that I didn't even know existed. 
So that put me on the hunt that uh, that these existed. So I started looking closer on eBay and finding some. This one I think is from the Spina though. This isn't from eBay. This is from Marianne Kennedy's it's a collection. Bubble. Yeah, because she would always mark it what year she got it. Oh. Isn't that convenient? Yeah. I wish I was that organized. So this is so this is not one of those that I was that Sid turned me on to, but this is a thin foot Hong Kong from Marianne Kennedy's collection. And uh it's on this favorites card, which is all I thought that... So to, to finish the story, I thought this favorites card, if, if, if there was a whistle on this favorites card, it had to be a Hong Kong thin foot. Well, Sid proved me wrong. And then he sold them to me, which I appreciate. So what is it? we'll get to those. This is a Hong Kong thin foot. So this is what I expect. But when we get to Sid's box, I'll show you something interesting. But this has a big bubble. That's not, that's unusual. What do you mean it's unusual? It's got a big old bubble on it. That's just what all of them look like, don't they? Hmm. Look, there's one right there. Okay, so these, these are just for my whistle favorites box. I have a box, a, a, a counter box that, uh, I'm, I'm filling with whistles just for display. So nothing special. Just uh, China whistles and poly bag. What are you getting? What'd you get? See, it's got still a big bubble. Uh, does it? Why does the bubble look giant? It's like... Aaron <laughs> likes big bubbles and she cannot lie. Is it because the Pez in there is so small? Wait, I don't know why you bought this. Just because it's... Because it's a thin foot on card. Oh. That's a thick foot. Oh. Is that this could come on... Could come on the cards? Put this back here, okay, look. Yeah. So, no, I know, but... Um... See, this is a thick foot on that same card. China, thick foot China. It's the exact same card. This must have made this for years. Anyway. You get that? That needs to go back in my office. So these are just to fill the counter box. Oh, yeah, that's fun. Oh, we were in Michigan. They're sitting over there still. They smell uh, like uh, Like Michigan? Someone's house. <laughs> here, I don't know what to do with these. Put them. So, let me just put them here and then I don't need uh, the box. We got a whole bunch of favorite boxes for like a dollar each. So we'll never run out of room. You can buy all the poly bag and panda pe pez that you want to put in those. <laughs> I'm hoping they air out soon. Yeah, so I definitely think we should... I like the idea of date stamping the new stuff when you buy it. Um, I mean, I, I guess it's interesting to, to, to write on it when you... what year you bought it to. But sometimes it's... You know, I like to know when Pez made it. Like the years that Pez made these things. And this thing's packed too. We're, we're, we're doing really well for packing this live stream. Hmm. Like we have yet to open up an envelope with stamps on it. There's no envelopes this time. This, I'm guessing this is a whistle. Okay, let's take bets here. Bets for pens. By the way, it seems people now are interested in whistles. The next thing I collect, you'll never know about it. I promise you that. <laughs> hey, look. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
Okay, how long did it take me to... How, how, what the heck? Okay, I don't, even, I don't even know what's going on. Okay. <laughs> this person packaged this. It's not even attached and there's no candy. And it was all bubble wrap. Like, this is like the best wrap package we've ever gotten. They messaged me and said, <sighs> it popped off there. Do you still want it? Uh, and it's a since it's a thin foot Hong Kong. Hmm. Oh, no. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. The conclusion to the story before we get to so Sid's box. This? No. This is actually a thin foot 3.9 made in China. So they actually have thin foot whistles that were made in Hong Kong and made in China that Sid schooled me on. So now I have to get them all. So you're missing the China ones? So... I'm st I still have a couple holes to fill in Hong Kong, and mm -hmm. I only have a couple China ones. What what Sid sold me, and then what what I what's in this live stream? I have no idea if there's duplicates or whatever. But I told him go ahead and send the card because I wanted to inspect it anyway to see what the differences were. Mm -hmm. And the other thing I liked mm -hmm. about it is it had the. A uh, dollar twenty nine sticker on it from the grocery store, which seems very expensive for this era of Pez. Oh, yeah, maybe it's like the nineties. The the condition that people keep these in. I mean, it's really not. I mean, it's old, but it's really not that old. <laughs> like that should look a lot nicer. Like it's yellowed. Someone smoked or something. Yeah, but anyway, I think this is really neat. Is that a, is that, no, that's not a double down. Wait, turn it. Yes. Is that? Yes. That's a, is that a double down? <clears throat> it says Pez going down and then Pez going down. Mm -hmm. I think so. So it seems like a lot of these China ones are like that. This is, even the print on there is like crooked, isn't it? Yeah, I, I don't know. They're it weird, but I like them. Doesn't it look crooked? Like under the Z? Yeah. It's like really crooked. Well, here, put it. You want to put it on the uh, spinner? Spinner worthy. So this is one of those instances where something, you know, with feet is really cool. This is one of those instances when you collect the specific pets and you look for every small little variation you can ever find. I'm not collecting every small little variation because there's variations of font in the patent number. <laughs> okay, so don't no, just saying don't get me started no, on that. Just saying it's cool when you can find new stuff. <laughs> I gotta put this in my office. <laughs> you might be able to if I can't remember what ones. Put it next to that so you don't. Yeah. That that came in that. Can't remember what one happen. Sid sent me. So if these are duplicates, you can put this one in your office, or we could put it downstairs or something. I finally did get shelves for my uh, office, though. So my now that my now my Pez display will will start to take shape. It's gonna look good. A whistle. I mean, let's be real. Everyone's gonna be like, "Oh, it's the whistle live stream." <laughs> they uh, they get the impression that these whistles are rarer than they are, so they have to protect them because they see us talking about them. They're like, "Oh, they're on the live stream, so these must be the rarest of all things. We better protect them." Oh my gosh, this thing smells like an ashtray. Ah, uh, that's not disgusting. Ugh. God, I'm gonna have to start asking people if it's from a smoke-free home. Well, when you buy stuff on eBay, you don't ever know what you're gonna get. I might have to wash my hands. Yeah. Is that? Oh my God! Yeah. Ew. This thing. Oh, is, this no, thing needs to leave. Maybe it just needs a little good bath. Mm. Floppy head. 
Is that from eBay? Yeah. Is that other one from eBay too? Yeah. Is there a return policy on that? <laughs> I don't know, but it has a crack in it too. What? Yeah, it's got a hairline crack. I thought you looked at it. I did look at it. Oh God. I don't know. That's not. That's a terrible buy. I need to look at this and see if uh, see if I knew that. Oh, look at this. Okay, well maybe just don't show that one. That's, I don't even want to touch it. No, no, where, where's the box that this came in? Ugh. Came in this. Put it over there next to you. No, I'm not putting it next to me. Oh. I'm putting it in the other room. Ugh. Now I'm washing my hands. The whole studio smells like smoke. Greg to open when he comes back. Let's see. I guess I'll start. I think this one's from Pez.com. Those are what you were talking about earlier? Yeah. So the pineapple sours mascot. It's pretty cute. I like the color. Orange and yellow looks really nice together. Ooh, look at the sours pineapple candy packs. Those are fun. Oh, this looks really nice. I wonder if they'll keep making mascot pez or if they'll start with the Another flavor? Are there more? Are, are, are there more flavors left? I guess there probably are, but like, uh, I wonder what they'll make next. Cause this is probably the last sours. Cause there's no more sours Pez on the cards. I did buy two, so I'll end up opening one and keeping the other one on the card. It's pretty cute, right? Did they figure out where to put these? I don't smush them. If you're interested in the sour, or er, if you're interested in the mascot Pez all, you have to like watch Pez.com all the time because they'll just release like these limited edition, limited edition Pez that they don't tell us how many they make. But you know, that one has a whole note to you. Oh on yeah! There. Thank you for the sport, Greg. Hope you enjoy the custom random Casper. skull Pez. I'm gonna put Casper. Down. Alex, random skull. I have been waiting for these. They There's smell a, nice, which is good. a bunch of fuzzies flying out of that. Oh, wait. So you showed me this, didn't you? I'm pretty sure you showed me this guy. Yeah. I saw him. Oh, I saw him on uh, Instagram. And I was like, Greg, you need to get some of these because they're super cool. Oh, oh my gosh, it's got a bigger head than I thought. I know. Is it a package? Yeah. Wow. Cool. The head's gigantic. R S P Random Skull Productions Custom Candy Dispenser. Nice. Oh look, it's number number thirteen. Thank you for the support. You're now the proud owner of a custom random skull candy dispenser. While the dispenser is functional, it is intended to be more of an art piece. If you do decide to use the dispenser, please be gentle. Okay. Uh, wait. See the face on there? Yeah, that's awesome. That's cool. Look at this one. Oh, oh I think I picked this one out. <laughs> well, you were like, what colors do you like? I thought this one was really neat. And it comes with like the blue candy. Uh, uh. What? Uh, you put these like rubber bands in here. I'd probably take those out. 
We have I don't to know. actually unstaple I don't know. it. No, it has like a Ziploc on the bottom. Oh. I don't know if all rubber bands make melt marks on your toys or on your Pez, but rubber bands usually are a culprit of melt marks. It might not be this year, it might be 20 years from now. <laughs> ah. Oh, that's cool. Oh, and there's custom candy packs in there too. That's neat. This one's number 12. See the custom candy pack in there. This is just a gray. How many did you get? Yeah, a couple. Wait, does this say number one? Or number two? Well, this one's number three. Look at the orange, orange. Oh, I like the orange. These are all cool. They're like heavy too. Like, wow. you gotta figure out a cool way to display these. Oh wait, another orange one? Did I buy two orange? Maybe. Supposedly. <laughs> this one's a little darker. It might have been like an orange and black. I don't know. I'll have to look at my order. Cool. I could have swore I bought a red one. Oh, maybe it looked red in the picture. Huh. I'll have to look. Yeah. Those are fun. Can you lay them on the spinner? Yes. I think the mascot ones is what she wants on the spinner. Mascot, mascot. Where did I put them? I don't know if they're good on the spinner. Oh. Well, you can turn it here, turn it on that, and I'll see. Yeah, see, that's not, uh, oh. that's not good. Here. Put her on that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't work. Turn it on the side, maybe. There you go. Sours. Has a little pineapple print on the stem there. Super cool. Yeah. Yeah, John, it seems like I got two orange ones, and I think that might have been a mistake because I think I was supposed to get one orange one and one red one. If you can see. This is something I bought. There's only one more box left after this. That's Sid's box, probably. Yeah. We make him, made him wait the entire live stream to see us open Well, it's package. the biggest and it's decked on the bottom, so that's why. Okay, this is, uh, remember when I got the stuff from, uh, the Maryland Pez gathering? Like, trying to think when that was. Maybe... Uh, it's probably been a few months now, but she sent me some stuff from the Maryland Pez Gathering, and I made a video showing it, and uh, this time around, I did the absentee registration, because I wanted to get the Pez, and look at the t-shirt. Wait, can you see it? Yeah. Am I in the video? It had, so it's another My Little Pony theme. So that's a My Little Pony outline. I think this one's Pinkie Pie, maybe? Let's see. I don't know, but look at the... Wait, what's it say on there? I can't see. Maryland Pez Gathering 2023. That's cool. It's yeah, red. that's fun. I like the red. Um, oh, it's the, the bomb. I didn't... And then the mama. <laughs> it's Scooby-Doo. That's cute. Oh, it's just standard... Charity dispenser. Oh my gosh. That's cool. It's gonna do. Has paw prints. Th these are so cool. And it has some custom packages or candy packs in there. And then 
this is the main reason I got these. <laughs> and the shirt. But this, uh, last year I got the, uh, I think I put them, did I finally put them downstairs? They were sitting behind me for a long time. The last year was the Rainbow Dash. This one's Pinkie Pie. So she puts all the little designs. There's a video on my YouTube channel here. I think it's a short. Do I, I think I did, did I do an unboxing video? I can't remember. But I know there's a short for sure showing these. And then, oh, and then I got a friend of Zep one. This is the crystal one. So I think she does a really great job on these dispensers and the candy packs. I thought these were really cool. I had to, I had to get these. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh no, that's, so it's orange and dark orange. So I got an orange uh, and a dark orange. It does look a little darker. It's just not like drastically darker. Yeah, okay. So that's all correct. This uh, is a little pin. That's cute. That turned out really nice. And then a magnet. I guess. Wait. Oh, I bet this is the cam art. Did he do that or? I don't know. These look. I don't it know what like, it is, but it looks, it looks like, like cam his. art. <laughs> oh, maybe it says here on the back. Wait, what's that say? I can't read that. I have to use the magnifying glass. It's tiny. No, it says photo by uh, Pez Camdy. Yeah. Is Pez that? Cam art. Or not cam art. Can't. Wait, what does he go by? Pez Camdy. Cameron. It's Cameron. He's on Instagram. This is like a pog. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what this is. It looks like a pog. Oh, yeah. Cameron Smith for the Maryland yeah, Pest Gathering. Yeah. That's cool. I like that. I might have to put this on the fridge. And then there's a little uh, bag. Oh, that's cute. It has the graphics on it. So, that was fun. So, if you can't go to conventions, they usually have, not all of them, but some of them they have absentee registration so you can register and get all the, the swag and stuff. But I thought since I had last year's Dispensers, I really wanted to get these. This is cool. You'll be seeing me wear this. <laughs> that red color. Yeah, you don't ever really wear red, so that'll be fun. Uh, and then there's one more box. Oh my gosh, oh, I forgot to put this back in there. Uh, this <laughs> box. I don't want to accidentally throw this. Ow! I hit my toe on the, the foot on the desk. All right, Sid, here we go. Do you have enough room? I guess so. Last box. Katie does do the what? Katie's the host of the. Uh, Maryland, or, yeah, the Maryland Pez Gathering. I should have worn my Maryland Pez Gathering t-shirt today. This says warning boxes inside of boxes. That's for sure. Here. That is a little... <laughs> He cuts them in half so we can put them in the boxes. They look, aren't these tiny? Oh my gosh, okay. This one says Polly's and a gift. Hold this here. I'm gonna keep sending, I'm gonna keep giving them to you, then I'll give you this big box to get out of the way. This might win packaging of the year award. Took it a while to convince me that I wanted these because I, I didn't realize they were so different. Mm. 
All right. So this is USA Whistle. Nice, nice. Oh. USA Whistle. I don't have many light blue stones, so that's good. That's pretty. Yeah. Well, I like the purple and the blue. This is Thin Foot China Whistle, which I've talked about a lot already, so I'll save you. Also, a double down, as, as uh, Sid was saying. So now you can see my Thin Foot China Whistle collection start to grow. So funny. <laughs> Very specific. Hey, it, it, at least I just don't buy random Pez. If you you buy it, you want you need every Pez. Here, grab that, but don't be careful with it. I feel like the plastic is cracking on that leg. There's like a little piece in there. Yeah. That is a yellow card. It puts him in his bin in his storage unit or something. This is probably from heat. So this is, we don't know if it's Hong Kong or or oh, China. Where did this come from? This broke off of it. I don't think it's this one. Uh -huh. <laughs> Broke off of one of them. Yeah, there's one of them that have a couple holes poked in it. But it's a thin foot, a thin foot on card. And the, uh, I don't know if it's a China one because it's not double down. I don't know if they all are. But this is probably Hong Kong if I were to guess, but we'll see. Oh, this one looks better. So, yeah, I don't, I don't even really know what this is. Where's that, uh, man, I want to open it, but See how the Pez on the side is like really small and close together? I don't, uh, I don't even know what to make of that. What is it? What is it? Look at yeah, the, this one's like that too. Yeah. It's just a different. It's a different stem variation. Are these from China? I guess they have to be because they're thick. These are thick Sid foot. Make these in his backyard, in his shed. These two are thick foot. This one's thin foot. Oh yeah, it did pop off this. Look, see, look. This is the one that. Oh, it's like broke. Yeah. Yeah, those when they turn yellow, they're like really brittle. I don't know, but these are cool. This one says one card is separated. I'm surprised that those even made it here on the card still like they're still attached yeah no seems like 90, there's always a risk when you sell these yeah 99 percent 99 point nine percent of the time you get these carded peasant but i took the risk because they're they're weird they're weird pez even out of the card so <laughs> thanks ricky i you know one good one, one really bad one. So. <laughs> so it's making me nervous opening this. I don't want to knock your pills off the cards. Here, do that one, but it's got some tape on it. Nice. 
tell people you bought a rack? Huh? Did you tell people you bought a rack? No. no. It's just part of decorating my yeah. office. He got, he bought a rack like I got a, those two racks on Art Pez Brandon. He bought one for his office to hang on the wall. That looks good. Now you'll have a place to display all these. Yeah, so this, this is another thin foot, which is neat. And then another of the weird thick foot ones. Can't wait to find one of these thick foot ones with the small Pez loose, oh, small this, Pez. This looking. one's got the two packs of candy. Oh well, yeah, they all have, well, yeah. See how smaller the bubbles are? Wait, the bubble, see how small the bubble is? I, I swear those are like really big bubbles. Aren't they? Yeah. Especially that one with the purple, it has like a really giant bubble. It's like a panda's supposed to be in there, or a Peter Pose or something. Definitely cool though. Did you show them? This one says Polly's. And a gift. Yeah, so yeah, Sid Sid's contributing to my favorites box. <laughs> nice. <gasps> oh. Alright. Look, it's on a it's on an orange it's in an orange bag. Oh wow. Nice. That's actually really, really cool. I'm sure I knew all this stuff, but oh look, it's got the small Pez in it in the middle. So if I can flip this thing around, I can see its patent number and where it's made. Oh yeah, right here. That's a small oh, there's Pez. one. There's another one. Sid so says I have no. Yeah, these don't look crazy. I have no whistles now. Wait for my next liquidation. Ah. You, you, what are you trying to do again, Sid? You're trying to get down to like what 300, like high high quality like collector pez or something. I forget what you told this me. It's uh, funky, but it looks nice. And here is a whistle. Yeah, you so put these... that on a string and just wear it around your neck. Oops. Yeah, so these are four nine made in China, but they are absolutely different stems. So, you know, the 4.9 whistles I have now that are made in China are just, you know, regular Pez, like regular made in China Pez. There's one around here somewhere. Where did I get it? Like, where, where did it go? Oh. Here, Today? hold this. Yeah. I put it down here because I was going to send it back. This guy right here. What was wrong with that one? Well, I just want to check what I paid for it because uh, it's just a random... <laughs> Maybe you need it. Oh, no. This one's like that, too. Uh. Maybe... Are they all... Am I just remembering them all? I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> well, I might not send this back if it actually is weird like that. Maybe I was just... Sometimes I, I, I remember things and then forget it. I think it just looks weird. Did you get the teal one? Ricky, talk to me about the teal. What, what teal one? Like, I don't know what you're talking about. A teal whistle? Or are you talking about a teal mimic? All right, so what do we want to do here? Um, do we want to show these whistles on the, on the little spinner or no? If people want to see the whistles. Here, you can put, why don't you put these, put these three up there. Just kind of one sideways, one, one side of the stem, you know, like, since they're all the same. That way you don't have to spin them. That guy's got a funky head. You can show the other side of the stem. Sid says those are my throw in commons. I think I don't maybe yeah, those not. maybe those are just the commons and I'm just remembering the China whistles wrong. 
Because um, to be honest, I don't look at them a lot. Yeah. Once I got the whole set, I just, you know, put them up there. I definitely don't have that, Ricky. What? Send me a picture of that on Facebook or... Oh, the teal? The teal. Because I don't know that I've ever seen it, to be honest with you. Oh, like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle uh, face mask? Hmm. Let me see here. Let me read this. There's a teal whistle. I don't remember the other side colors, but it's like a light greenish. There is a TMNT with the same color stem. Okay, well, now I have something to hunt. You think it could be, um, it could be uh, faded. So like, Sylvester's, do, not Sylvester's, but uh, Wiley Coyotes do that. They When they age, they actually change from brown to green, which is really weird. The Speedy Gonzales. Speedy Gonzales. I think you have the wrong one. No, no, the... The one with the hat? No. We just saw a bunch of those in Michigan and they were green. Well, those too, but yeah, why? I think it's Wiley Coyote. It's, uh... Yeah, you don't have it up here. Yeah, they're downstairs. But yeah. Well, I think we have quite the haul here. I'm gonna go add these whistles. Like to I, my favorite box. I, I think you got everything, but I got this one. <laughs> and this. Oh, yeah. And one of the skulls. And one of these. Oh, I get to have a skull. Favorite skulls. Yeah, the one that you wanted. Picked her out. It's pretty cool. You no, know, it came out of the package like that from the store, but yeah, maybe from the factory. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It sounds awesome. And I want to see it because I keep getting schooled on. Like, I'm like, oh, I have all the whistles. And then Sid sends me a thing. And then I don't have all the whistles. And now you, Ricky, send me a <laughs> Now I don't have all the whistles again. <laughs> but that's the fun of it. That's the fun of it. Um, it seems like you think you, it's like any, all these pets. Like, we were always, we were always like, oh, we got all the pandas. And keep looking and you keep finding them. We bought an epic panda. Why didn't we bring it up? Over the weekend. Last over last week. An absolutely epic panda. Two epics. Two, two epics. Well yeah, but one more epic than the other. I think they're both I think they're both super cool. So we finally found a pink head panda. So you know the red headed pandas come in two colors. A pink, uh like a light pink a light red, aka pink. That's kind of a dull, non shiny. And then a, a, a kind of a high gloss red. So we got that. And then we got a, Duro, a Duropal panda. And it's got a teal blue stem with a teal blue steve, see, sleeve. So if you don't know what the Duropal is, see like this guy up here. Where is it? It's orange. Right, right yeah, right there. Right there. <laughs> the orange penguin. The orange penguin. We've he's, opened it on the live stream like a yeah. long time ago. He's kind of see-through, and they're like really brittle and translucent stems. And uh, we we found a panda Dur Duropal, and uh, it's it's epic. That's all I can say. It's pretty Might epic. Might be one of my faves. That, I didn't, I don't think I showed you, but that, pink headed panda the more, one more pink less red the stem on one of the ones with the white head and the red stem has like a more pinkish stem that like almost matches it perfectly really yeah that's pretty neat so it awesome. seems like it's definitely like a legit color like oh it's definitely a legit color it's a well-known yeah variation but like there's like the red but then it, that pink color like matches the other stem like almost exactly. Like it's like the same color. Like those, it was like, oh, that color looks good. Let's use that one again. <laughs> awesome. All right. Well, I have to uh, go play with my whistles. Click on sunshines. Thanks for another great live stream. 
Have a great week. See you in person at Pesamania soon if you're going. Yeah, we will see you there. <laughs> we are definitely going. We'll get it. We get in Thursday morning. So uh, I, I'm excited. Mm -hmm. We'll be room hopping. I'm going to be uh, just hanging out in your guys' rooms. Ah. Shaking hands and kissing babies. Well, maybe just shaking hands. Babies are <laughs> kind of gross. You're not running for president. That's true. <laughs> not running for president. <laughs> let's I'll let I'll just if you need me, I'll just come visit me in in Sunshine's room, Devlin's room, whoever's room will have. I can I can uh, find a chair. <laughs> Sunshine says she gets in Thursday morning too. Are you you're flying, Tuna? I guess so. Yeah. All right. Thanks everybody for watching. See you later. This. And uh, I'll have a video out maybe tomorrow, if not tomorrow, Monday or Tuesday. Uh, it's almost done. I just have to find time to finish it. <laughs> and uh, it's going to be a good one. So it's going to be the first Michigan Pez Hall. Yeah. Hopefully video, you can get your so. Michigan videos out before we go to Pez Mania. Yeah. You know? <laughs> that would be nice. Working on it, Greg. Um, or get to it yeah so it'll be a fun one so look out for that here on youtube and if you're not subscribed make sure you hit that subscribe button and if you ever have any post questions that you want us to talk about during the week or for the next live stream you know send me some messages over on social media i'm eric clicks pez on you know, like tiktok facebook instagram and uh we'll have the mess we'll have those messages we can answer for the next live stream <laughs> yeah okay everybody Oh, and we and we're in pet. When we go to Pesmania, we'll live stream there. I'm sure. Right? Yep. Yeah, and we're staying all Saturday this time, so we don't have to hurry the live stream. Oh yeah. So in Michigan, we had we left right after the live stream, so we had to really hurry. This uh, in Pesmania, we're gonna take a little bit more time and yeah, and uh, it'll be fun. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks everybody for joining us today. Appreciate it. See you soon. Bye. <laughs>